Hey everybody, welcome back, A and J's Collectibles. It's been a minute. Lockdown, it's crazy. But forget all that crap. Today we got Well you see what we got. Corvette, Corvette, Corvette. We're just gonna have some Corvette fun today, so stay tuned. All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, as you can see, some of these we've already went over. We went over Harley Quinns. We went over Batgirls. We went over Chokers. We went over Crossfire. This is Lettys Fast and Furious, and that one over there is just a big time muscle. This is one I've had for a while. Um, we just haven't opened it. I got this one with. Um, the Lamborghini, which I were going to do them together, but seeing that I got these two other ones, I figured let's just have some Corvette fun. Forget the Lamborghini for now. So, give me a minute. I'll be back. Welcome back to A&J's, guys. Hey, I was gone for a second. Uh, had to do some shit, uh, so I'm back. Anyway, as you can see, we've already went over. These are dusty. This is what I'm talking about. When you collect these cars, you have to clean them off all the time. Seriously, they get dusty easy. And my um, table is pretty damn dusty too. I haven't made a video in a minute. So another thing is, is that I'm in the basement. Um, these are all rafters. My ceiling. So I don't have a drop ceiling. I don't have no ceiling really. Um, so when the kids run across the floor, all the dust just all over all my stuff. So um, even inside all these cubes that I have, they're all dust, 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 dust everywhere. Anyway, back to back at it, back at it again, back at it. Here we go, Corvettes. So, we have done Harley Quinn's Corvette. We did a review over it. We have did a review over um, the uh, DC Bombshell Girls, um, Batgirl. I'm sorry, um, Batgirl Corvette. We've did a review over Joker's Corvette. We've did a review over um, the Transformer Corvette. Um, we haven't did a review over Letty's Corvette um, from Fast 8, and we haven't did a review over that Corvette over there. Um, that is a big time muscle Corvette, so that's going to be in one of these boxes. The rest of these are going to be in different boxes, bigger boxes. These are 20, 20, 20, 20. These four come... Um, with either action figure, not really action figure, um, a figure, a little metal figure, or a token. Um, the Transformer one comes with a token. Um, as far as Fast 8, that one is 15. That one just comes by itself, like the rest of the Fast and Furious ones. Um, there's a couple that you can get with the figure, but that one is not one of them. And then the other one's gonna be 15. And then these three are 15. Like I said, this one on the bottom, I've had for a minute. I was gonna do a review with it, with the Lamborghini um, from Fast and the Furious 9 or 8. Wait, 9 hasn't come out yet. 8. Um, but I decided because I got these two Corvettes that I could just do a Corvette video. So, um, here is what these ones look like like I said I just got this one but this one actually got about a month ago these two this one I got yesterday this one I got today um, I was gonna grab them both yesterday and I didn't so I did end up grabbing this one um, I know what you're thinking we're supposed to be in quarantine I shouldn't be buying stuff but I had to go to the store I had to get milk I had to get diapers um so i had a reason to go and why not grab something when i'm there so i grabbed something 
Um, plus, there was no one on these aisles. So, I'm still six feet coronavirus prepared. Anyway, um, I went yesterday to get Easter stuff. Today, I had to go grab some stuff from the house that I forgot to grab yesterday. So, I ended up grabbing this one today. Um, I know they are the exact same car, just different color, but um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I have quite a few cars that are exactly the same, just different colors. Um, I think they're badass, especially these racing looking ones. So, um, let's see what the back looks like. So the back for the Corvettes are going to be exactly the same as far as telling you what you can collect with them. This one is going to be a little bit different. Um, yeah, I don't see no, none of the same ones on there. There might be some same ones. Yeah, like the 1970s Chevy Chevelle SS right here. So, got the Hellcat, which we already did the Hellcat review. Um, I do have this 67 Shelby GT500. Um, let's see if I can get it out of the light for you. Um, I have quite a few of these. I don't have the Camaro wide body, the yellow one. I do have a Camaro wide body white one. So 2016, they're both 2016. As far as up here, I don't have this white Challenger. Nice to know that there is one though. Um, I do have a Shelby GT 567. Uh, I have a Pontiac Firebird, but it's not that one. So like I'm saying, you can collect quite a few and they do a lot of different color variations. Um, I do have quite a few Ford GTs. Um, I don't have that one though. I don't have the Daytona. I don't have a lot of these cars. Like the Fast and the Furious, I know we, when we went over the Fast, some of the Fast and Furious ones, um, I have pretty much every single Fast and Furious car. There is a couple new ones that I don't have yet, but anyway. Let's get these out the box. But if you're also wondering what else there is, you can always go to their website, jadatoys.com. J-A-D-A.com. But let's get these out the box. So, like I've showed you guys before in some of the other videos, when you take them out the box, this is what you get. Underneath, you'll see that little plastic piece. It's got two little screws in it. Fair warn you, pain in the ass screws. They suck, but this is what they look like, two screws in each one. If you buy one like this with a figure, which I don't have the figures with me, they're set up where these ones all go. Um, those come with screws in them too, so, but let's get them, finish getting them out the box. Alright guys, we got them out the box. The only really thing you have left is this little plastic piece that holds the doors closed. It's going to be on all three cars. So, you usually can just pull it, the bottom, and that pulls off. Same here, for some reason they got these ones twisted, but just pull it, it pulls off. Just hit my mic. There you go again. See, normally they're just like that, where they're not all twisted up. Then you just pull the bottom on pulls off easier like that. So, first thing we'll notice is the bottom. So you see a little bit more detail with this one than you do with this one. A lot of these, oh, oh sorry, than you do with this one. For some reason, a lot of these racing concept ones um, just come with the plain bottom. Nothing underneath. So, Let's check these out. So like I said, we've already did Batgirl's Corvette, which if you would like me to tell you, I'll go over each one. At the bottom, you'll see, it'll tell you exactly what kind of car it is, and it'll tell you the year. So this one is a 1957 Corvette. So we'll line that one right there. Next, 
We have Harley Quinn's 1969 Stingray ZL1. So, if you look, these two are going to be exactly the same. Got a little rolling action here. She, her car just don't want us to die. No matter where I put it, don't want us to die. There we go. So this one's going to be the same one. 1969 Stingray ZL1. So we'll line this one up here. We will go over that one because we haven't yet. Um, next up should be Letty's. We'll go over this one too. 1966. Oh, actually, I had it wrong. So it would go that way. I was thinking that that one was a little bit newer than those two. But if you know your Corvettes, then you probably knew I was out there. And then here we have, these are, con this is a concept. So it would be the same with Jokers. And these are what, 2009? Yeah, 2009s. Let's see. 2009 gray concept or oh, stingray concept I'm sorry it's a gray <laughs> so these two are going to be the exact same we just got a joker edition one and then the red one so these are concept cars which means <clears throat> they make them concept take them to car shows and if people like them they put them into production they don't get no attention they usually don't go into production over here we have good old Stingray, um, 2016. So this one's actually going to be the newest, newest, and she's pretty damn dirty. I need to clean these. So I'll put that one over there, and then these ones are going to be 2006s. Oh, 2005, I'm sorry. 2005 Corvette C6R. Oh, 2005. So let's put this one over there because we've already went over it. And what we'll do is we'll put Put this one over here. I know you can't see it. I do want to see it. Yeah, we'll put it right there. So we will go over this one first. It is the oldest one of the ones that I haven't went over yet. And it does not. Oh, there we go. So if you watch Fast and Furious, I have almost every single Fast and Furious Jade Toys um, dark ass car. So if you want to see more, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. If you don't care, I don't know what to say. Um, but this is going to be Letty's car. So, as you can see, you'll see F8 on the back. It will come in a Fast and Furious box. It won't come in one of the big time muscle boxes. And it is pretty dirty. I've had this one for quite some time now. Let me see if I can get this hood open. So there's the hood, you only get the one mirror. Oh, it is dusty inside there. <laughs> Sorry if I just blew in your ear. So under the motor is going to be all black. Um, she does got a NOS tank in the back. You got your e-brake, stick shift, your pedal, and you got just got one kind of cluster panel sticker um, the rest is just gonna be the plastic seats the trunk doesn't open obviously but this is um, Letty's Corvette 
What year did I say it was? I already forgot. So, it is a 1966. Oh, so like I said, you know, your Corvettes, you're probably already saying it's a 66. I'm more of a Mopar guy, sorry. I didn't, I didn't know that answer. Um, but yeah, you do get, um, let me see, a little bit of detail, not much on the bottom. Like I said, you're only paying 15 bucks, so can't really expect a lot, plus you're not going to see the bottom anyway, unless you get one of these Transformer cars and you buy two, you can set it up. So it stands up like that. So, if you'd like the Corvette one, well, the Transformers ones, so those ones are 20 bucks, like I said. Oh man, I love that one. That color is just freaking sweet. Let's set it back down. But yeah, like I said, I already did a review on that one, so if you go back, it's one of my, one of my first videos, first few videos, um, Transformer video. But yeah, this is a Letty's Corvette. We got a lot of Fast and Furious cars to go over. I know we do statue reviews and car reviews. Um, and sometimes we just do some odd reviews of different stuff. Um, but today I felt like doing a car review. Plus I got two new cars. And I really like these two. So yeah, that is Letty's Corvette. Paint job is really good. The rims look really good on it. Ooh, does it got a little nick? It's got a little nick on the back. That sucks. You can't really see it too much though. That's actually probably for me. It didn't come like that. Although I do have all these put up. Um, nobody plays with them. They're just all set up nice down here. Um, as you can see behind me. that one? Well, that one is on a bottom shelf. So I do gotta say, my dog comes down here and sleeps next to me and sometimes she likes to stick her head in these little cubes and her paws in these little cubes. Um, on these little in these cubes and she'll fall asleep and she'll push the cars and she'll knock them over on the bottom shelf so she might have done that let me shut this off sorry so I bought one of these um off topic here I bought one of these um eight bucks you just set your phone on it and charges I just got it today could have did a review on that well, I'm just throw it in here but uh it actually works the thing about buying these iPhone chargers is that they seem to break quick or stop working quick especially the gas station ones uh, this one's working I don't know how long it'll last whether it lasts as long as the other ones or not the only thing is is it charges slow so it was only 10 Eight eighty-eight, I think. So ten bucks. So, but they charge slow. All right, I'm back. So, my daughter painted mommy's toenails. So, she wanted to show me that she painted mommy's toenails, and they look pretty amazing. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, this is Luddy's Corvette. So like I said, 15 bucks, paint looks good, rims look good, red and black looks pretty amazing, and it even looks better when it's all clean and not dusty like it is. So yeah. So that is Letty's Corvette. We've already did this one, this one, this one, so we will skip to this one. Which is a, let's go over it again, one more time. I know you guys are out there probably saying it already. 1969 Stingray ZL1 Corvette. 
Um, like I said, I'm a Mopar person. Even though I'm a Mopar person, I love all cars. Don't care what they are. Don't care who makes them. Don't care if you call it a Ricer or American Muscle. Whatever you want to call it. I still like it. A car is a car. And they're all badass. Whether it's a four banger or just downright uh, eight cylinder beast. Whatever you got, don't matter. It's a car. It's... They're, ba they're badass. You gotta love them. If you gotta love for cars, you gotta love for cars. Period. And yes, I'm wearing a gas funky t shirt. Anyway, here is your. I'm down there, Kelly. Here is your 69. Right? I see, I'm already forgetting. It must be this um, whole um, lockdown thing. I'm starting to forget shit. Even though I still work. Um, we work a little bit different now. Actually, we like, work a lot different. still work out in the field but it's a work from home it's only when you get called out so anyway the exhaust is here on the side it's all blacked out which looks really really good um the thing I liked about these this one too is these deep dish rims and you can see the rims are uh black and the inside and the outside has got that chrome look but it's like a mirror image and it's making it very light in there and you can see the rotors and the calipers the brakes really good and it looks pretty freaking amazing and you got in the back is the Corvette you got the Corvette and the symbol on the hood Let's open up these doors So you see again, you only got the side view mirror on one side, and you got a pretty shiny little motor up in there. You can see it. Look at that sucker, shining, shining, shining. So yes, like I said, this one was 15. Um, inside is just pretty much plain, just all black. No, no. Oh, there's a couple decals in there for the um, speedometer. That is your Corvette Stingray 1969, and it is sexy. And I have one over. I have. I did go over this. Um, not this one, but this one. Harley Quinn's um, in a different video, which would have been a Harley Quinn and Joker um, video. So if you want to check those ones out and get a little bit closer. Or get a little bit better review on it and go check out my Harley Quinn and Joker review on the Corvettes but here is this one that white and blue looks pretty freaking amazing and that's why some of the cars like these two that I just got they're the exact same cars but I do get them again in different colors because they just look and it looks Sorry, apparently I was at a half hour. So, half hour goes quick. But like I was saying, I have two of these, two different colors, because, I mean, when you have the same car, with two different paint schemes, wow, this one really likes to roll, don't it?
Yeah, that happened. <sighs> anyway. Two different cars. Or one same car. See, it's throwing me off. But same car, two different colors. Look at it. It's just not real. Maybe I'll hold it. Um, but here you can see the lights are different. Those ones are going to be regular. The Harley Quinn, you're going to have the red and the blue. Um, but yeah, even though it's the same car. Get it more straight. Oh, boy. When you have two cars, same car, two different paint schemes. Badass. They just look good. That's why I do it. That's why I get more than one. So. Let's switch over to this concept. So, this is a um, 2000, what did we say it was, 2009 concept, so this one did not go into production, um, and you know what, when I did the review over the Joker one, I was going to say that this one has been the worst one with headlights. You can see how sloppy well you might not be able to see, but um, the headlights are kind of slopped in there. And Jada Toys usually does a really good job at uh, making their stuff look good. Um, but this one with the headlights, it looks completely shitty. Um, I hate it, and now that I'm looking at this one, it looks the exact same way. There's just gaps inside these headlights. And it don't look good. Um, so you do got the actual Stingray on the side versus it saying Stingray. Then you got the two um, decals right here, which is actually Dodge uses that for their logo now. When they split from Ram, they have the two slash marks. Not slashes, but two marks. Um, but yeah, this one has it. Yeah, it's got the stingray on there instead of the same stingray. And then you got the rims, look good. Um, there's the back of it. Doors open like so. Oh, and this one, doors have to be closed in order to open the hood. So let's open the hood first. That looks really good how it opens the hood. So this one does look really, really good with the hood open. Now we can open the doors back up. Uh, um, it's all black under there. Let's see how much of a difference. And the inside, you got chrome pedals. Everything else is pretty plain. Plain black with some bucket seats. Um, so this one actually looks a little bit better, you get a little bit more chrome under there versus the all black. Um, doors open up the same way because of course it's the same car, concept car. Which is cool that they did this one for the Joker car. Um, Anyway, we've already went over the Joker car, so. That is your concept. That looks good. Apparently, Apparently they didn't like it too much though because it didn't go into production. But other than that, 
Alright, there's your um, concept. So, so far I've seen it come in this um, Joker one here, and then the red. It's the only two colors that I've seen, color schemes that I've seen it come into. So, but yeah. I mean, if you are a Corvette collector, and you want some model Corvettes, you got a barn with a Corvette inside of it, and you want some Corvettes for the wall, here you go. I'm giving you a bunch of different options right here. Well, Jada's giving you a bunch of different options. I'm just showing you them. I gotta watch that Harley Quinn car because she likes to take off. Next up. Next up is the 2005 Racing Edition. That. It's a C6R. Man, I love this car. Everybody's trying to go down here. Anyway, this is a beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. I love this racing look. It looks freaking amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I just gotta show you it first before we even talk about it because it looks so damn good. So, inside. Inside, inside, inside. Look at, you got two mirrors on each side. <laughs> Those older Corvettes don't like the two mirrors. Um, it's got a mirror, a rear view mirror too, that is like on the left hand side. It's not really in the middle. It's actually hooked to the roll cage. Everybody's being loud upstairs. So, this hood obviously does not open. The trunk obviously does not open. So on these ones, all you're gonna get is the doors that open. You got XM, XM radio on the windshield, XM on the saddle, on the, um, I said satellite, XM. You got, um, it's XM satellite on the spoiler here. And I'm going to put this one up here because everything that is on this one is going to be on this one. So it's going to be the exact same thing. So we will spin this one while we are going over this one. So on the driver door there, you will see it says CompuWare. And then you'll see IMSA. Um, a blue dot, whatever that is, and number three, American flag, GTS, three dots on the door, you'll see, let's close this door, Michelin tires on the bottom, the Corvette symbol, GCA on the bottom, which says, it says you need glasses to read this, no, it says genuine Corvette accessories. Oh, that's what that says. Um, Mayha Pistons. And then you have Protect Engine Development. And then you got Mobile right there by that back tail light. Or running light. And you have UAW. Oh, it's got the UAW symbol. There you go for all you GM employees. Um, 
Got your union symbol right there on the side of this boiler. And then we have our Corvette symbol on the the back. Let's spin the sucker around right there on the top. You will see if you can see. Sorry if you can't see. Um, the Corvette symbol, you got Motorola, and then on the license plate, of course, Big Time Muscle, because it is Jada Toy's Big Time Muscle line. And you have GTS3 on the back, CorvetteRacing.com, GM Racing, and Pratt Miller. We'll spin it back to this side. On the back, you have Bose. On the back windshield, you have Big Time Muscle on the back windshield, of course, and then you have your Chevy logo on the back. Um, right here and then also right here on the B pillar you have C6R and then on the top of the hood Oliver Breda, Oliver Gavin same on both sides with the flag um, we've already discussed what's on the side and then on the front again you have that little Punisher symbol but the GCR is a GCR. It's hard to see on the front there. Yeah. Or GCA. GCA. I'm sorry. You got Motorola on the front. Let's spin this sucker around for you. Sorry, light. Oh, it's kind of a light glare. So you have Motorola on the front bumper. You got your Corvette symbol. And then you have CompuWare on the front. Mobile One and an American Revolution, an American flag, and then of course the number three racing. Um, so the only difference in this one and this one, if you'll look, is going to be the exact same. The colors are going to be a little bit different. Even on here, this one's white. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. White, yellow, XM radio also the number is four instead of three so huh. so maybe they have two of these when they race one's number three one's number four i don't know if you know if you watch these racing these type of racing um events you know the answer to it although they both say oliver brad oliver King, gavin I don't know, so maybe there's two of them. Maybe Oliver Beretta drives one, Oliver Cabin drives the other one. I don't know. I don't even know who these two people are. I just know these are badass. Also, if you haven't seen that um, new movie, uh, what is it? Ford vs. Ferrari? That's actually a really good movie. So like I said, the only thing that opens up on these are the doors. like so and there is your yellow one but the racing look is just with all the racing decals and everything it just an amazing looking car right there that's why i had to have both of them oh, plus i didn't even realize until after i bought it i just thought there were two different paint schemes but one says number three and one says number four so obviously they're two different cars right I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I just know they look fucking good. They look good. I'm sorry. Can we stop with the screaming? Holy shit. That's what I'm talking about when they walk across the dust balls. I need a, I need a um, ceiling put up on all these joists and stuff. And apparently a soundproof room because they are loud. Shit. Oh yeah, here's the white one. That white one there just, just looks really good, don't it? Looks pretty amazing. So let's see if we can get these two next to each other. Got one rolling off. There you go. So 
so like I said, if you are a Corvette fan, Jada Toys is your answer. $15 a piece, 30 bucks for both of these. And if you want them all, you're looking at, what do we got? Um, 15, 15, 20, 15, 20, 20, 20. So four of them are 20, so 20, 40, 60, 80. And you got 30, so 110. And then another 30. What are we at? 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and then 15. So all together, about 150 bucks. If you want all these. Um, but yeah, and they got more. This is this is not it. I do have some Camaros that will go over too if you're a Camaro fan. Although we've already went over quite a few Camaros for Transformers. And the next one I think that I'll go over um, diecast car wise is probably Ford Mustangs because I have Jada Toys is really big with Ford apparently really really big with Ford. Um, because that seems to be like the most there is especially when it comes to this is that my work phone is going off? really? okay pause for a second cause I'm not getting up to go shut it off we'll just wait until it stops stop who the heck is calling my work phone? I, I'm gonna, I got the day off. I'm not going to work. So, anyway, we're back. Sorry about that. My work phone's way over there. I'm not getting up to go get it. Anyway, that's your Corvettes. That's Jada Toys. That's 15 bucks for certain ones, 20 bucks for the other, 150 bucks pretty much for all these. Um, if I added that right. <laughs> um, other than that, we'll see you guys in the next one. Like I said, I got a bunch of Ford Mustangs, so we might go with Ford Mustangs. Up. Plus, we got some statues to go over. So, other than that, like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one.